it is the Chinchilla Notebook here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can tell, we are in a different location and obviously it's not your typical intro or your typical video, but basically today's video is going to, to just be a chin vlog of me letting Merlin out to play in this room. It is currently like 10.30 so Merlin is pretty active right now which is why I decided to do this video now and <laughs> he's already chewing the wool back here. Basically, if you're wondering where I am, my brother recently moved out and so his room is completely, almost completely empty. There's like that desk area and then this bookcase here. But eventually it's going to be pretty empty and I just thought it'd be really cool to convert this room into a chinchilla room. So if I can convince my parents to let me use this room as a chinchilla room for Merlin, that would be awesome. But for now, all I'm doing is just letting him out for playtime in here. It's a really big area. I just put out these two little huts right here and I wish I had more carved boxes or interesting things for him to climb on but unfortunately I don't. It's just that for now. I'm just gonna let him run around here and maybe show you guys a couple time lapses. I don't know but yeah so so far he's just really curious. He's not as scared as when I put him in my room because it's like more evening. Oh my word he keeps running away. Um, it's like the evening, it's later at night, and um, he's just a little bit more active and curious right now. So, all that's in the closet is this sleeping bag, and we have another one back there. And he keeps wanting to go back here to chew, and then we have some boxes of, I don't even know what that is, clay pigeons. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, this is what, this is the area. Can you guys just imagine Merlin? just living in here this is awesome like we already have our decorations right there and should have like asked you guys to leave me some questions on um, Instagram like the Instagram story just so that I could kind of include it into this video okay guys literally he is so excited and like happy I remember when I had done that video letting my chinchilla loose in my room or in my house he was super scared and he would like make quick runs everywhere but here, he is just like, when I put the camera down to make the Instagram story, he's bouncing off the walls, just popcorn-y, and he hops when he runs. It's so cute, because he has like a lot of space in here. And he's just like smelling, he's curious. I'm really glad that he's having a good time. Usually I don't give him playtime this late, because, yeah, it's 10.30, and <laughs> it's kind of late. I don't usually give him playtime this late, but it's probably why he's like so energetic. What are you doing, Merlin? Yeah, I haven't checked my story yet, so let me Instagram. Okay. Yeah, I haven't gotten any questions yet. But here you are. If you need this video, let me get, kind of get a shout out. Yeah, so here's my Instagram. I don't know why you're interested. But yeah, I get a lot of DMs every single day. Oh my goodness, see so what I get into the trash can? Merlin! Mer Merlin! No! Okay, now this is... I chased you into your hut, huh? It's so cute. Let me see. Do I have any questions? Nope, still no questions. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's pretty late and I just put that story up, so... So cute. He's just running. He's exploring. Yeah. I really want to get him a buddy. Like, just imagine. Okay, I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but if I had this room for Merlin's cage, it, obviously it would partly still be my dad's office space in that area, but like I could put his cage here in the corner so that the sun's like not directly on it, but there's still plenty of light. I just think that would be really nice. So. Yeah, it's definitely a better room to film into. I feel like, especially in the daytime, it's gonna be a way better, way better room. What are you running to, huh? Where are you going, Merlin? So 
got my tripod there in the corner, but didn't really end up using it. So we got three questions. This is gonna focus. Um, the first question is, aren't you thinking about getting another chinchilla? So yes, I do. And that's one of the things I told my parents that if I, if I get another chinchilla, I need another cage, obviously, um, in the beginning to bond them. And then if it doesn't work out, just to live side by side. And so obviously I can't do that in the laundry because it's too small, but in here there's plenty of room. So that is definitely something I want to do. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to be really busy because I'm in college and I'm going to pick up another job for the summer. He's chewing the wall. So that means he'll be working two jobs in college and trying to keep up on YouTube. So I don't know if it's the best time to get another chinchilla, but I definitely do want to. What was something you were thinking of naming Merlin besides Merlin? Um, I actually don't even remember. It was, it was a long time. It was only like three or four years ago, honestly, but I don't remember. I just um, remember bringing him home because we got him the same exact day my other chinchilla died. So I had been going through a lot that day. And don't ask me why I did that. My mom just thought I would feel better if I was distracted with another chinchilla right away. So that's just what ended up happening. But I remember watching this other YouTube channel and the girl had been telling um, her subscribers how the story of her chinchilla, like, oh man, I'm losing my train of thought here. Basically, her chinchilla was named Merlin and he was a rescued chinchilla who came from a very bad home. And I just really liked the whole story and everything and what the girl stood for. So I ended up naming Merlin that. And I don't really think I had another name. Like I, I remember having my chinchilla before him and just thinking, man, if I had another chinchilla, I would name them Merlin. So that's what I did right away. Do you stay up late with your chin? My chin loves to be up at night, so I stay up sometimes. Okay, Merlin loves this. Like, it's 1030 and he is legit hopping. Like, I was sitting here and he just started, like, hopping. And he is, he just, first of all, he loves the space. Second of all, he loves to be up this late. Those are the only three questions that I got, so... <laughs> Yeah, if you're watching this video and you wish you could ask me a question, sorry about that. But this is just the way it is. How about, whoa, did you see it? He just hopped up there. Those like they're deep. Merlin, he just hopped, he just hopped into the trash can. Why do you always, why do you always go for that corner, Merlin? Oh my goodness. Oh dear, yeah, I'm getting really tired. And I have a pretty long day tomorrow, so. Okay, look on YouTube. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, what is this video? I have 9,000. Hang on. You see that? Not really. 9,000. Hey, hey, whoa. I have 9,355 subscribers. You guys, we're getting so close to 10,000. And I'm excited because. 10,000 oh my goodness I remember my brother telling me a while ago he was like so imagine when you get to like 10,000 and then 50,000 and 100,000 and I never Merlin no oh my word I have to get up all the way from across the room and I remember thinking like I'm never gonna get 5,000 much less 10,000 and you guys we're almost at 10,000 that's crazy I know that not everybody oh my goodness this chinchilla will be the death of me what do you have I, oh my goodness. I forgot to vacuum this room and it's late so my parents would not want me to vacuum right now so that's why it's kind of messy on the floor. Anyway, but I remember, wait, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I know that not everybody who subscribed to me watches my videos, obviously, um, but it's still crazy. Like, so many people decided that they like my channel enough to subscribe and that is crazy to me. Like, honestly, wow, thank you. Anyway, though, um, let's see. Inbox. Oh my word, somebody just left me a message. Okay, whoa, stop it. Can you, I'm only showing you guys these because they post, they're not DMs, they're not just like separate messages. They post this on my videos, which anybody can see, so, you know, it's not really private. Um, can you please show your face? I'm dying to see you. Uh, don't be because, yeah, there's just, <laughs> there's just not much to see. I'm just joking, but yeah, 10,000 I'm planning to. And thank you, seriously, thank you for your videos. Um, 
How much does the food that you ordered cost? By the way, I get a lot of comments. Okay, I get like a lot of comments of people just thanking me and telling me how much I inspire them and like I'm the reason that their chinchillas are so well cared for and all that kind of stuff. And I literally remember being the person that commented that on other chinchilla channels, like the ones that I learned so much from and the ones I looked up to. And it's just crazy to think about the fact that people felt the same way as I did. Like, I remember how I felt. I was just so thankful and so, like, in such admiration of these people. And now people feel that about me. And honestly, it's a lot of pressure, kind of, because... You know, I'm influencing a lot of people, but at the same time, it's such a cool feeling knowing that I help people. Like, when I leave comments saying, like, oh, I'm so glad to hear that, it sounds like I'm just repeating myself. But, it, like, in literal, all honesty, it is such a humbling experience to know that, you know, I was... Oh, my word, he just hit, he just hit the leg of the tripod. Merlin, why are you crazy? You know, jump into the trash can again, huh? I just gotta say that having this YouTube channel is such a special thing to me, and I'm really, really thankful for it. And getting the chance to inspire so many of you because I started this out from day one with like zero subscribers and it slowly built its way up and it's been three years I think it's almost been three years since I started this channel and I know that 10,000 like 9,000 I guess and 300 isn't a lot for three years but this channel really started to kick off in the past year so anyway basically I'm just ranting for no reason and I think I'm just gonna end this video here because I'm just gonna let him run around and continue to have fun, do what he wants to do. But I think I'm gonna end this here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And again, thank you for the support and everything that you guys do for me. I'll just see you guys in the next video. And thank you guys for watching this one.